I stand in the sacred human presence, as I do now, so should you stand someday. I pray to your presence that this be so. Let the future remain uncertain, for that is the canvas to receive our desires. Thus, the human condition faces its perpetual tabula rasa. We possess no more than this moment, where we dedicate ourselves continuously to the sacred presence we share and create. We possess no more than this moment. from Caladan, a paradise world for our form of life. There existed no need on Caladan to build a physical paradise or a paradise of the mind. We could see the actuality all around us. And the price we paid was the price men have always paid for achieving a paradise in this life. We went soft, we lost our edge. There should be a science of discontent. There should be a science of discontent. There should be a science. People need hard times and oppression to develop psychic muscles. A sleeper must awaken. The sleeper must awaken. The sleeper must awaken. The sleeper must awaken. I'll miss the sea, but a person needs new experiences. They jar something deep inside us, allowing them to grow. Without change, something sleeps inside us and seldom awakens. The sleeper must awaken. Something sleeps inside us and seldom awakens. The sleeper must awaken. There should be a science of discontent. There should be a science of discontent. There should be a science. People need hard times and oppression to develop psychic muscles. The sleeper must awaken. The sleeper must awaken. The sleeper. 
There are many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. Many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. What senses do we lack that we cannot see? Another world all around us. Muad'Dib could indeed see the future, but you must understand the limits of this power. Think of sight. You have eyes, but you cannot see without light. If you are on the floor of a valley, you cannot see beyond the valley. Just so, Muad'Dib could not always choose to look across the mysterious terrain. There are many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. Many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. What senses do we lack that we cannot see? Another world all around us. Muad'Dib could indeed see the future. But you must understand the limits of this power. He tells us that a single obscure decision's prophecy Perhaps the choice of one word over another could change the entire aspect of the future. He tells us the vision of time is broad, but when you pass through it, time becomes a narrow door. There are many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. Many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. What senses do we lack that we cannot see? a clear, safe course, warning that path leads ever down into stagnation. When you think to take determination of your fate into your own hands, that is the moment you can be crushed. Be cautious, allow for surprises. When we create, there are always other forces at work. At work. At work. At work. A process cannot be understood by it. Understanding must move with the flow of the process, must join with it and flow with it, must join with it and flow with it. That which submits rules. The willow submits to the wind and prospers until one day it is many willows, a wall against the wind. This is the willow's purpose. A wise man molds himself. The fool lives only to die. The wise man molds himself. The fool lives only to die. Do you wrestle with dreams? Do you contend with shadows? Do you move in a kind of sleep? Time has slipped away. Your life is stolen. You tarried with trifles, victim of your folly. Wait without purpose. In the highest state of tension, do not compete with what is happening. To compete is to prepare for failure. Do not be trapped by the need to achieve anything. This way, you achieve everything. You do not take from this universe. It grants you what it will. A wise man molds himself. The fool lives only to die. The wise man molds himself. The fool lives only to die.
into your own hands, that is the moment you can be crushed. Be cautious. Allow for surprises. When we create, there are always other forces at work. At work. At work. At work. At work. At work. go either direction under stress, toward positive or toward negative, on or off. Think of it as a spectrum whose extremes are unconsciousness at the negative end and hyperconsciousness at the positive end. The way the mind will lean under stress is strongly influenced by training. Seek freedom of 
your desires. Seek discipline and find your liberty. Seek freedom and become captive of your desires. Seek discipline and find your liberty. Find your liberty. To know a thing well, know its limits. Only when pushed beyond its tolerance will its true nature be seen. The basic rule is this. Never support weakness. Always support strength. The test of a man isn't what you think he'll do. It's what he actually does. It's what he actually does. It's what he actually does. Seek freedom and become captive of your desires. Seek discipline and find your liberty. Seek freedom and become captive of your desires. Seek discipline and find your liberty. Find your liberty. by generalists. Experts and specialists lead you quickly into chaos. They are a source of useless nitpicking, the ferocious quibble over a comma. The Mentat generalist, on the other hand, should bring to decision-making a healthy common sense. He must not cut himself off from the broad sweep of what is happening in his universe. He must remain capable of saying, there's no real mystery about this at the moment. This is what we want now. It may prove wrong later, but we'll correct that when we come to it. Thinking you knew something is a sure way to blind yourself. Thinking you knew something is a sure way to blind yourself. It was not growing up that slowly applied the brakes to learning, but an accumulation of things I know. I know. It was not growing up that slowly applied the brakes to learning, but an accumulation of things I know. The generalist must understand that anything which we can identify as our universe is merely part of larger phenomena. But the expert looks backward. He looks into the narrow standards of his own specialty. The generalist looks outward. 
She looks for living principles, knowing full well that such principles change, that they develop. It is to the characteristics of change itself that the Mentat generalist must look. There can be no permanent catalog of such change, no handbook or manual. You must look at it with as few preconceptions as possible, asking yourself, Now what is this thing doing? Thinking you knew something is a sure way to blind yourself. Thinking you knew something is a sure way to blind yourself. It was not growing up that slowly applied the brakes to learning, but an accumulation of things I know. Things I know. It was not growing up that slowly applied the brakes to learning, but an accumulation of things I know.
It was a pattern the sisterhood had long recognized, the inevitable failure of slavery and peonage. You created a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate. Implacable enemies. If you had no hope of exterminating all of these enemies, you dared not try. Temper your efforts by the sure awareness that oppression will make your enemies strong. The oppressed will have their day, and heaven help the oppressor when that day comes. It was a pattern the sisterhood had long recognized, the inevitable failure of slavery and peonage. You created a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate, a reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate. It was a two-edged blade. The oppressed always learned from and copied the oppressor. When the tables were turned, the stage was set for another round of revenge and violence. Roles reversed and reversed and reversed. And reversed. And reversed. Ad nauseum. It was a pattern the sisterhood had long recognized. The inevitable failure of slavery and peonage. You created a reservoir of hate. A reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate. A reservoir of hate. A reservoir of hate. You created a reservoir of hate.
The problem of leadership is inevitably who will play God? Of power is the fatal sin. The law cannot be a tool of vengeance. 
protection against the martyrs it has created. You cannot threaten any individual and escape the consequences. Good government never depends upon laws, but upon the personal qualities of those who govern. Trust no government. Trust no government. Machinery of government is always subordinate to the will of those who administer that machinery. The most important element of government, therefore, is the method of choosing leaders. We should grant power over our affairs only to those who are reluctant to hold it. And then only under conditions that increase the reluctance. Trust no government. Trust no government. must be invented. The military force which is denied an external target always turns against its own people.
not give someone a stick to beat you with. used to express it. Answers are a perilous grip on the universe. They can appear sensible, yet explain nothing. And thinking you know something is a sure way to blind yourself. All, 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 all proofs inevitably lead to propositions which have no proof. All things are known because we want to believe in them. All things are known because we to believe in them All things are known Cause we want to believe in them All things are known Incorporated into 
to your belief structure, what a powerful dependency that creates. What a powerful dependency that creates. Paradox is a pointer telling you to look beyond it. If paradoxes bother you, that betrays your deep desire for absolutes. Ultimately, all things are known because you want to believe you know.
escape a trap? That's an animal kind of trick. A human would remain in the trap, endure the pain, feigning death that he might kill the trapper and remove a threat to his kind. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. 